Welcome to Navranaco's tutorial on how to make a conlang, known by professionals in the field as a clong. You're probably here because you couldn't get any good results with clongers like Art Hessian or Bib something or other. Fear not, for I can help. Step 1. Choose your inspiration. The first step to make a clong is to imagine what it looks like on paper. Nobody cares what it might actually sound like. Take a look at Wikipedia for a bit, then settle on English mixed with some language from either Sub-Saharan Africa or the Caucasus. The fewer speakers, the better. Step 2. Choose a phonology. Next, you have to choose what sounds the language will use. Start with English. Add as many dentalized and voiceless consonants as possible, add whatever sounds from Welsh and or Dutch for extra throat disease that aren't included, and then just take every single click consonant there is on Wikipedia. Even try inventing your own, just make sure there's IPA for it. Quick note, IPA lets everyone in the world who isn't brain dead understand your language, and even some people who are brain dead can. As for vowels, try to add at least 10. Languages with fewer are for people who aren't as smart as you, so show the world how much of a genius you are. Also, if you take only one thing away from this, let it be this. Avoid pharyngeal and epigonal sounds at all costs. Seriously, what do you with those sounds from hell? Step 3. Choose a syntax. Choosing a syntax is crucial for how your language will be understood. There are two main types of syntax depending on which way the words go, English and French. The only difference between these two is that with English, the adjectives come before the verbs, and in French, they come after. In 99% of the world's opinion, English is better because it lets you know that something is better before knowing what it is, whereas in French, you only get to know that after the word has been said. It makes shopping much easier. That's why most clongs have English syntax. Step 4. Make some words. Take your sounds and string them together however you would like. The clong isn't affected much so long as you have less than three vowels in a word and at least four consonants in a row at least once. For every word English has, you need at least one, but it's preferable to have two. And each must have a distinct definition. The word for tax may be etschiklimch. But the word for tax evasion could be If anyone asks why the words are so different, just explain it as evolution, even if it isn't. Step 5. Admire your brainchild. Just look at it for a bit. Look how beautiful it is. Step 6. Evolution. Now this one is a dangerous prospect, but it can be very rewarding. Evolving your clong can either bring it to new heights or completely ruin it, so be advised. Start by changing sounds over and over and over again, and if you are exceptionally bold, change whether the adjectives go in front of or behind the nouns. If you move them behind, you must also pronounce everything through your nose to make it more like French. If you move them forward, remove any nasal sounds. Now I've heard of people doing this but I myself am not willing to risk it. Some people have fused the adjectives onto their nouns to make new nouns. Only do this if you are sure you can do it well. Now that you've ruined your clong by changing it, it's time to throw it out. If it didn't hold up to the changes, it wasn't worth making in the first place. Now go back and make a new one and come back when you're done. Step 7. Writing system. Your clong in essence is done but you're going to want to supplement it with something. A writing system is going to bring it to life. I find it easiest when I take the English alphabet and remove C because it's a lazy good-for-nothing letter that's job can be much better done by K and S. Then I take the sounds that don't have individual letters representing them and pair them up with other characters I've found that happen to look like either their English spelling or the IPA symbol. Except for mm, because that one is from a Norse language and by definition cool. And you're done! Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, tell me all your passwords, give me all your credit cards, and let me sell your organs on the black market to support me. And tune in next time to see me build a world and a story for my clong.